Well, I was most impressed by the clear signal that uh, Trump also gave that he is willing to renegotiate. Yeah. Uh, so hence, he's, I think he's really made a statement that he is for trade rather than against trade. And I think that is an encouragement, but we still need to renegotiate after that. Um, we as a, as a bank, Rao Bank, are in the world of food mostly. And, uh, and so we care about the trade impact that it has on the, the food supply. Mm. And we care deeply about it. And we think it's also a risky factor to start playing around with these trade uh, agreements. So I take this signal as an encouragement. Uh, just, just on this, though, the bankers like volatility. They like two-way views. They like oscillation in, in price so that they can make more markets and, and get more volume. And we've seen that FICC has struggled for a whole host of financial institutions yeah. because there's been a lack of volatility. Mm. So, dare I say it, Mr Mnuchin and Mr Trump have given the banks just exactly what they wanted, a two-way market and a, and a hint of volatility as well. Is that generally good for the financial institutions globally? I think it's generally good for general financial institutions. I lead a bank that is a cooperative bank that is sure. sort of deeper uh, um, uh, rooted in society. And so we take the opposite view on these uh, volatility points. And we think it's not good for our clients. Mm -hmm. Stability in the food supply chain is a good thing. And so we would argue all of these factors that up uh, volatility and uncertainty is actually not well, good for society. Well, then my follow-on from that, and sorry for jumping mm -hmm. in, but it, it, it is then that commodity prices generally seem to work in an inverse reaction to the strength of the dollar. When we've got the DXY trading at 89, just back above it now on the back of Trump after going just below it on the back of Mnuchin, yeah. that sends commodity prices higher across the spectrum from ag to, to precious metals yeah. as well. So that cannot be good for the world that you're talking about, the fact that ag is being moved so aggressively on the back of a weaker dollar. Yeah. It depends, it uh, depends, because so we're on the full supply chain of food and I think better commodity prices is good for the upstream part of uh, agriculture and food. Mm. And so most of our clients in the agricultural space, farmers, are, are happy with these developments and they would say now this is a place to invest. Mm. We are all for more sustainable uh, practices that the upchain part of food has to adopt and you need better commodity prices to invest to make those practices a reality. So I think the general view is that volatility is good for banking and, and commodity prices need to go down, good for trade, good for banking. Uh, if you put your position in the shoes of the clients and the upstream manufacturers, the farmers, the smaller farmers, but also the bigger farmers, the opposite might be true. And you need stability in the supply chain. You need stability to invest in a supply chain that stretches continents. And that stability is good for society. So we take an opposite, opposite okay. view on those uh, developments. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.